Hey everyone, Matt here from Evolve Fitness. This is Waylon, the Golden Retriever. This workout hopefully will last long enough that he is still occupied by the bully stick that we got there. Shout out to Bow Wow Buddies uh, for making sure that the end does not make them choke. We've got a 25-ish minute uh, beginner at home workout. All you will need is one dumbbell. So you just need one dumbbell. If you don't have a dumbbell, I will give you an option um, here to not use a dumbbell. And if you have a band, we'll use a band. If you don't have a band, we won't use a band. So we are going to get started with a warm up. You can pause this video at any time. If you need to only do part of the workout, if you want to pause it, um, take longer breaks than I uh, do, then you can absolutely do that. The main thing with these workouts that you'll find on our YouTube channel and all over Instagram and all of that stuff is you can do the same workout multiple times. If you absolutely love this workout, it makes you feel awesome, feel free to do it two or three times a week. Feel free to put it in your rotation uh, as long as you want. But I'm going to stop talking. We're just going to get right to it. We're going to do a little warm up to start. We're just going to start with some jumping jacks. And you'll be with me following along the whole time. So again, if I went a little too fast there, just pause me and then you can get right back to it when you're ready. Also notably, you'll notice that we don't have music because we like you to be able to listen to all your favorite songs. So I'm listening to some 90s country in my head right now. And down to some squats. So you're just going to be a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, toes pointed out. Just squats nice and easy. We're just getting warmed up here. Waylon, how's your warm-up going? All right, now we're going to do some stick ups. So, stick up, you're going to put your arms over your head, pull them back as far as you can, and then you're going to pull down, squeeze your shoulder blades together. So, if you're looking at me from the back, I'm going up and I'm going down, squeezing the top of my shoulder blades together, straight up and down here. And the next thing we're going to do is some push ups from our knees. You can do them on an incline if you have an incline. We're just going to do some nice. Easy push-ups. Don't worry at all how far you're going down here. Just do your best. Only going for a warm-up. Waylon looks like he's going really fast, so we may have an excited dog here at some point. All right, now we're going to go up and do a couple more jumping jacks. This time I want you to go arms out front. This is called a seal jack. And then a few more squats. Don't worry about speed here. We just want your legs to get warmed up. All right, now we're going to do some arm circles forward, big circles forward, nice and slow. Backwards, then little circles. A little faster. Okay, now we're going to go down on one knee, and you're going to have your other foot forward. Take two hands, meet on the inside of your front foot, and you're going to turn and reach to your opposite side. You might not be able to make it very far like me, but then we're going to come down in the middle, and we're going to alternate from side to side. You're going to alternate at your own pace here. Waylon needs to slow down. All right, switching sides. Same deal. Other foot is forward, turning and reaching from side to side. All right, we are ready to go. So, again, pause this. If you need a break at any time, we will take some scheduled breaks, but if you need one, you just take whatever you need. We only need to remember two exercises at a time. First one is a one leg stand. So you're going to need a bench or a chair or a couch. You're going to stand directly beside the couch. Now we're going to put one foot forward. What you can do a couple of different ways is you can have it not touching the ground and you're going to go slow on the way down and have a seat. And then you're going to stand straight up without this foot touching the ground. What you can do is when we're on our way down, we can use our hands a little bit to push ourselves up, or you could have this front foot heel down, toe pointed to the air, and focusing on doing as much work as the one that doesn't have 
uh, or the one that has all of the pressure on the foot there. Staying nice and tall throughout, slow on the way down, and then we're pushing up through that front foot. So that is going to be 30 seconds on each side. And then we're going to do an incline push-up, or you can do push-ups from your knees if you don't have an incline. But we've got our incline, and then everything is how we would do a normal push-up, a little wider than shoulder width. We're nice and slow on the way down. Try to get your chest as close to the bench or your chair or your couch or countertop, and then pushing up. So we're slow on the way down, and then pushing a little harder. So you want to resist with your chest and your shoulders and your arms here, and then push right through as well. And that is going to be 30 seconds. So it's one leg stand, 30 seconds on each side. And then push-ups. We'll take a quick break in between rounds. We'll do three total rounds. So let's get ready. And we're going to go in about eight seconds. Waylon's need to slow down. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. So we're one leg stands here. Always keeping your core nice and braced. If 30 seconds is too long and you need a break, you just take a break whenever you need. But you're going to have a light seat down each time. And we got 10 seconds left. Awesome looking job. All right, now we got our other leg for 30 seconds. Standing nice and close to whatever you're doing here in three, two, one and go. My legs are getting tired already here. Good job, good job. Keep on rolling. Waylon is not going to be taking any breaks, it looks like, but we're going to take some breaks at some point here. Almost there, almost there. Keep it up. Give me one more. All right, great job. Good start on the legs. We got our push ups. We got incline push ups, or we have push ups from your knees. We're going to go in five seconds. I'm keeping a look on the clock here in three, two, one, and go. That's it. Awesome job, awesome job. Keep it up. We got about 10 seconds left. I'm looking back because I got my camera on the other side. When I say camera, I mean timer. All right. We'll give about like a 20, 30 second break in between rounds. I'll give you a little closer look at my shirt. If the love don't feel like 90s country, I don't want it. I will say that my girlfriend has a new appreciation for 90s country. We went to a tribute band, 80s and 90s country. I have a 90s country tattoo, if you can see that far. And that was the first song that they played. We are going to get going in about 10 seconds for our one-legged stands. Again, if you're not ready, just pause me. You start whenever you feel ready. In five seconds, start with the same leg as you started with before, if you can remember. In three, two, one, and go. This is round number two of three. You can do whatever you want with your hands here. Just make sure you're keeping your core nice and braced. When I say braced, I mean pretend I'm coming to punch you in the belly. Hopefully you tighten everything up. And make sure you're breathing. Awesome job. We got 10 seconds left. One more good one. All right, we are switching sides in five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. We got to work our legs. This is what we're going to be motoring around on when we're 100 years old. And I'd love to for you to come back and comment on this video. When you've done this workout for the first time, I'd love to hear it. If you make it through, let me know. But when you're 100 years old, I want you to tell me how much all of your workouts helped that. Last one. All right, awesome job. We got push-ups coming up in 10 seconds. 
Five seconds to push-ups. Forgive my breathing, please. Three, two, one, and go. So you always want to be in control of your body here. Resist with your muscles on the way down so you'll be slow on the way down and then a little faster on the way up. Looking good. We are halfway there. Almost there. Give me one more good one. You got this. All right, awesome job. Little break. We see if we bring it a little closer. It is a water tower with a green heart that says Billy Bob loves Charlene. If you understand that, I'd love to hear uh, from you in the comments. If you haven't come across of all fitness before, feel free to send us a Google here in Halifax and Dartmouth, Bedford, and Elmsdale. If you have any questions, I answer all of my emails no matter what, and I love to help. So please get involved if you can. But otherwise, we're going to get going in 10 seconds. We've got one more round. One-legged stands are going to be the hardest one we do. So let's give it our all here in five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Awesome job. We're halfway there. Legs are feeling mighty. Mighty something. Less than 10. Last one. All right. Awesome job. We got other leg coming up in five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Waylon's getting to the end of the line. And he is named after Waylon Jennings, in case you're wondering. I would have done Joe Diffie, but I don't think we could get that girlfriend approved. And Waylon actually was on the list of names we wanted. We weren't sure of the final name. And we showed up to Foxy Lane in Yarmouth and Argyle. And they told us that it was a country music litter. So Waylon, Willie, and the boys. Last one coming up. All right. You rocked those. Give me a double high five up there. Push-ups one more time. Those aren't easy. In five seconds, we got push-ups coming up. In three, two, one, and go. This is the last time we got to do push-ups today. Keep on pushing. We got 10 more seconds. One more good one. All right, great job. Let's take a little break. We are moving on. That is the first pair of exercises. Got another pair coming up. Pause me if you need to. Actually, I'm not going to set my water there because we're doing an exercise there. Okay, I'll give you a couple of options for this one. We did our legs with our one-legged stand. We did our chest, shoulders, and tri triceps. Now we're going to work the back of our legs a little bit. We can do a hip thrust on an elevation, or we can do it on the ground. I'll show you both. So if we're doing elevated hip thrusts, you're going to come close to your bench, your chair, your couch. Bring your butt nice and close to it. Heels on the edge. You can put your head down here. And then what I want you to do is push through your heels as high as you can with your hips and squeeze your glutes. So the glutes are the muscles right underneath your butt cheeks. And then you're slow on the way down. Touch your butt down. Fast up and squeeze. Slow down. Do whatever you want with your hands here. So I can do the same thing if I go on the ground. I bring my heels nice and close to my butt. Toes in the air. And then that bench is getting in my way a little bit. But the same idea. Push up and squeeze. A little slow on the way down. And then push up and squeeze. Now, if you have a dumbbell 
or a weight, a weight. You can use a milk crate or anything you want. We're going to do some one-arm rows. So a one-arm row, if you have something to lean over, you can. So if I'm leaning over, I'm putting my right foot forward, right hand on the bench when I'm doing my left arm. You can see my back is nice and straight. I just let my arm hang down naturally. And then I'm going to pull up, pull my elbow back, squeeze underneath my shoulder blades, that muscle underneath my armpit. So I'm fast up and squeeze, slow down to my arms extended. If you don't have a, uh, uh, something to lean over, you can just lean over here. If I'm looking from the side or the front, I'm just leaning over my front leg there. Important for this, keeping your abs nice and tight. You don't want to be turning your torso when I'm here. It's all about that muscle underneath my armpit, straight up and straight down. So we've got our hip thrusts for 30 seconds. Then we've got one arm row for 30 seconds on each side. Waylon, what do you think? Are you giving her? He is pretty focused because he's at the end of the line, I think, on his on his bully stick. Okay, we got 10 seconds and we are going. Another three rounds. And just like you can pause me anytime, you can always fast forward me if I'm getting too many breaks here. In three, two, one, and go. Big squeeze at the top. Slow down. Get as high as you can with your hips. Slow down and touch. I'm keeping my core nice and tight throughout here. Keeping an eye on the clock for us. We're about halfway there already. <laughs> I don't know if through my mic you can hear him. He's getting aggressive. Almost there, almost there. All right, great job. Got one arm rows coming up. One arm rows for 30 seconds on each side. To look at the clock here, I'm actually going to go on the other side. I think you can still see me. We'll start with our right arm so you can see me in three, two, one, and go. So you can see how my back is nice and straight, all the way down to my arm is extended, fast up and squeeze, slow on the way down. That's it. Awesome job. Hi, buddy. <laughs> he looks very proud of himself. Almost there, less than 10. All right, awesome job. Let's go over to our left arm here. I'm gonna face you guys a little bit. In three, two, one, go. You don't wanna show off on camera, Waylon? He must know he's on camera. He went over to the door. Doing the dirty work. That's it, keep your core nice and tight. Not too much movement in your torso on your up and down of your arm. We got about 10 seconds left. All right, awesome job. We'll take a little break in between each of these rounds as, as well. Pause me, fast forward me if you want. All right, all right. We'll give you about 15 more seconds. Get in position for these hip thrusts. Well, we don't need help on the hip thrust, bud. Thank you. I'll do it on the ground this time to show you that way. And we got about five seconds. In three, two, one, and go. Straight up and down. Big squeeze at the top. Okay, I hear the panting. <laughs> Waylon. Okay, we might have to deal with the dog here somewhere where he's not supposed to be. The bully stick did not last as long as anticipated. <sighs> Big squeeze at the top. Waylon, come here. All right, awesome job. We are on to our one-arm rows. There he is. One-arm rows coming up in seven seconds. I'm going to go back to our right arm here. In three, two, one, and go. 
Okay, you're in the way officially. Officially in the way. Okay, you guys keep going. <laughs> All right, I'm working now, I'm working now. Getting lots of help. <laughs> I'm just gonna guess for the timing on this one, sorry about that. Let's say we got 10 seconds left. All right, awesome job. We got the other side. Other side coming up in three, two, one, and go. That's it. Core nice and strong. This is the end of round number two. I probably shouldn't be whistling on a YouTube video. I'm sure there are some of you that are doing this right now that are trying to work your way around an excited dog. Are you finding everything you're looking for, buddy? He does like to hang out at the gym. Almost there. All right, awesome job. We are taking a little break, and then we're gonna do that one more time. Then we're gonna work into the final round. All right, awesome. Wanna come say hi? He's got his dirt face on. I will say I wasn't a dog owner before this. So I never had a dog, and now I'm just obsessed. So they are the best most of the time. All right, we got our elevated or on the ground hip thrust coming up in seven seconds. In three, two, one, and go. This is the last time we're doing this. I want you to give me an extra big squeeze of your glutes at the top. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> okay. The bully stick did not last, so now I'm covered in slobber. <laughs> Thank you. He's still a puppy. <laughs> All right, you guys keep going. <laughs> okay, Bubba. <laughs> You guys are going to keep going. I'm going to do a standing exercise now. Oh. All right. That's good for the hip thrusts. That is good for the hip thrusts. He's a good boy. We're going to need a shower after this. All right. Let's go. One arm rows coming up. In five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. I think I got slobber in my eye. All right, we're working. We're working. I'm rethinking the next exercises now with this workout. We might have to make a change unless we can get him interested in that bully stick again. Thank you. All right, awesome job. We've got about 10 seconds left. All right, switching sides. In five seconds, three, two, one, and go. That's it, looking good. Keep on working, doing an awesome job. Last time we got to do this one, I want you to give an extra focus on squeezing your core here. Almost there. All right, awesome job. Let's take a little water break. Love what I'm seeing. Love what I'm hearing. Okay. We got one more round now. Exercise number two, you can do this a couple of different ways, or exercise number one of part number three. You could do this seated on a bench if you want with a weight in your hands. I may have to do that if I get some puppy love here. But you can also do it seated. If you have like a medicine ball or a dumbbell, we're going to do a Russian twist side to side. You can do it with your feet elevated. Every time you get to one side, try and squeeze your opposite oblique to bring it to the other side. You can go feet down, keeping your core super tight throughout here. And then our second exercise, 
It's going to be the stick ups from the warm up. This time, I really want you to try hard. If you have a band, which I forgot to bring a band in here, you could do a band to pull apart. So if you have a band, elastic band, you hold it here, you pull it apart, squeeze your shoulder blades, then nice and slow until you don't feel any tension and you're back and forth. We're going to do stick ups instead. Really at the bottom, I want you to pretend my hand is in the middle of your upper back. Squeeze my hand as hard as you can, then we're straight up. This is a really wonderful back and posture exercise. You'll thank me for it later. So we're going to do 20 seconds of stick ups as the second exercise, 20 seconds of the Russian twist. Those will be our two exercises, and that will be it for the workout. So I appreciate you getting this far. If you need to turn me off and catch me later, then that's all good. But send a comment down below, and let's get into the Russian twist. We'll do that in 10 seconds. In five seconds, three, two, one, and go. This one's 20 seconds. So every time you get to one side, really try and squeeze your opposite obliques. Obliques are the muscles in the sides. Again, we can put our feet down here. Should feel this pretty good through your core. We've got less than 10 seconds left. All right, awesome job. We are up for stick ups. Up for stick ups in five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. All right. I want you to squeeze with me. Feels like a weird exercise, and it kind of is, but if you're squeezing hard, you should feel a great pull in the muscles in your upper back here. We've got less than 10 seconds. All right, we're not going to take any more breaks. We're going to go right down to our Russian twists in five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. That's it. All right, awesome job, awesome job. Keep that core nice and strong. Get 10 seconds. All right, up for stick ups. End of round two coming up in five seconds. In three, two, one, and go. Okay. Let's go posture. Let's go 90s country. Let's go Waylon Jennings. All right, awesome job. We got one more of each Russian twist coming up in five seconds. You got this, no problem. In three, two, one, and go. You looking to help? Are you looking to help or hurt? He loves his dad, that's for sure. He's a daddy's boy. Where's daddy's boy at? You guys keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I'm working my core just by being in this position with an 80 pound dog. All right, let's do some stick ups. Let's do some stick ups. You want to do some stick ups? <laughs> in three, two, one, and go. <laughs> you guys are doing stick ups. You guys are doing stick ups. I'm watching the clock for you. We're doing stick ups together. <laughs> We're getting butt scratches together. Let's go. Let's go, Waylon. You can do it, buddy. Almost there. Almost there. Where's Waylon? All right. Applauses, applauses, applauses for everyone. Sorry for the distraction. I learned my lesson that the bully stick is not going to last for a full virtual workout. Appreciate you sticking with me. Uh, again, if you need any help with anything at all, we are here to help. Waylon says, thanks for coming, everyone. This is called air timeout. We put him on air timeout if he's being a little bit naughty. Okay, have a wonderful day.